Excretory system is a passive biological system that removes unnecessary or dangerous materials from an organism. It is responsible for the elimination of waste produced by homeostasis. It helps maintain internal environmental balance within the organism and prevent damage to the body. Skin plays a minimal role in the human excretory system. The skin secretes a fluid called sweat through the sweat glands located in the dermis which carries a small amount of metabolic waste. The process of digestion and absorption releases into the bloodstream, but excess nutrients, salts, minerals, water, as well as drugs and toxins can also enter the bloodstream through the digestive system. The cells of the body also release toxic waste products, such as ammonia, which is converted into less toxic urea by the liver into the bloodstream. These excess materials drugs, toxins, and waste if allowed to build up in the bloodstream can threaten an individual's health by throwing off chemical balances. The blood and extracellular fluid that bats body cells must have precisely regulated constructions of various salts, appropriate levels of water and dissolved substances, and other waste products must not be allowed to reach toxic levels. The burden of maintaining a proper chemical balance or homeostasis in the body falls largely on the kidneys. Human kidneys are pear kidney bean-shaped organs located on either side of the spinal column, extending slightly above the waist. The kidneys functions as the body main excretory organ eliminating the metabolic waste products by filtering the blood. The blood carrying various wastes enters each kidney through the renal artery. After it has been filtered, blood exists through renal vein. The kidney contains a hollow in the chamber called the renal pelvis and an outer layer which is divided into fan-shaped renal medulla and an overlying renal cortex. The kidney is composed of up to 18 lobules. Each lobule is composed of nephrons. The glomerulus is encased in a thin double dual capsule called Bowman's capsule, and the space inside the capsule is called Bowman's space. Plasma-like fluid is filtered from the capillary blood into Bowman's space through the glomerular filtration membrane. The glomerular filtration membranes consist of three layers of capillary walls, the endothelium, the basement membrane, and the podocyte. This membrane allows some particles to form the blood to pass through, but not all. The fluid that is filtered from the capillary blood into the Bowman space is called filtrate and forms the primary urine. The filtrate then diffuses across Bowman space and enters the tubule system of the nephrons. In the tubules, some substances are added to the filtrate as a part of the urine, and some are reabsorbed out of the filtrate and back into the blood. The filtered blood flows from the glomerulus via the apparent arterial into the peritubial capillary network, which is a low-pressure reabsorptive system, surrounding all portions of the tubules. This arrangement permits rapid movement of solids and water between the fluid and the tubular lumen. Peritubular capillaries rejoin to form the channel by which blood leaves the kidneys and empties into the inferior vena cava. Blood flows occur into the glomerulus from its afferent arterial and moves through the glomerulus capillaries into Bowman space. From Bowman space, the glomerular filtrate moves into the tubular segments of the nephrons. Here, through tubular reabsorption, electrolytes and nutrients move from the filtrate back into the bloodstream through tubular secretion. Through tubular secretion, 
substance cells move from the peritubular capillaries into the urine filtrate. Urine, which is a mixture of water, waste, toxins, and some excess nutrients, is filtered out of the blood, leaves each kidney through a narrow muscular tube called ureter. Very stultic contraction drives the urine through the ureter to the bladder, a hollow muscular chamber that collects and stores urine. The walls of the bladder contain smooth muscle capable of considerable expansion. Urine is retained in the bladder by two sphincter muscles located at its base just above the juncture with the urethra. When the bladder becomes distended, receptors in the walls trigger reflexive contractions. The sphincter nearest the bladder, the internal sphincter, is open during these contractions. However, the lower or the external sphincter is under voluntary control, so the reflex can be suppressed by the brain. Unless, bladder distensions become acute. Urine completes its journey to the outside through a single narrow tube called the urethra. The human excretory system is thus responsible for the regulation of our body in terms of chemical balances, elimination of waste and harmful substances, and ultimately our good health.